Harlan here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again. And thank you so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. <laughs> and what I'm up to today is a haul. A pretty big haul. I've got quite a few things to share with you here. And as you all know, I am still gearing up uh, to switch out my decor. I have not mustered the energy as you can see behind me there with the Easter sign and everything. All of my Easter decor is still in place and I don't have any plans this week to take it down to be honest with you. I this whatever this is is kicking my rear and this will possibly I always say this I know and I end up doing something else and Chris grumbles at me he says now you don't need to do that and I said well I know I don't and I know they don't expect it but I've got this stuff sitting around so I want to go ahead and haul it for you guys so anyway uh, let's get started so I am going to go ahead and get started and do this haul and it is from let me think now Michael's at home DSW, I have a pair of shoes to show you, and Plow and Hearth. We just stopped by Plow and Hearth today. So, uh, we have an outlet here in town. We didn't go to the one over in Madison, Virginia that I sometimes talk about. We went to one here in town, and uh, we do have a little outlet store here in town. And it was chock full of stuff today. So, I did buy some stuff there. And uh, so, let me start with Michael's, which was just flowers. That's all I got from Michael's, and I'm still trying to collect flowers of um, things that I think that I'm going to, you know, be putting into my decor, and think Pioneer Woman, and think, you know, her decor, you know, all of her different colors of reds and teals and greens and pinks and blues. Sorry for the ruffling of the bag there. Uh... So, if you remember, I have been hauling like all kinds of teal and green flowers, but I'd yet to get any red or pinks or corals or anything like that, oranges. So, that's what I went looking for when I went into Michael's. I knew that their uh, uh, florals were on sale for 50% off. So, this was $3.99, and this is kind of like just daisies, pink, and they have a, a little bit of a... a almost a sheen to them, if you will, just a little bit. They're really pretty. So there they are. And remember, this is the, you know, these are kind of the colors I'm going for this year. I wanted to show you that with something else I got. That's why I bought that out here. But I got the just one tuff of these, then I got a tuff of kind of orange ones. They're telescoping a little brighter than they are. That is, is more, that's kind of better back there. I think because I have this light on here at my table. And then I got a pair of, or a pair, <laughs> a tuff of kind of like a marmalady pink and yellow kind of, almost peachy. Let's see if I can touch my screen. There we go, that's better. And then the orange ones. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what they look like. And then the pink ones. And each of these was 50% off of $4. So $2. And then I got just a couple of tufts of kind of a bright red. Even though I have some dark red too. But I also wanted some of this. It's just going to be... You know, real eclectic. I don't know. We'll see what I come up with. <laughs> these were two dollars, so a dollar a piece for these. And that's it. That's all I picked up from Michaels. Just, just some florals, just to try to. Because you know, I use florals not only just in my lanterns and stuff, but I also use. Uh, you know, I just set them, like for instance, around the lamp in the corner back there on the three tiered back in my kitchen on the three-tiered tray here on my island. You know, I, I just need, you know, a flower or two here and there. And, uh, you know, then of course I've got this lantern here on the table that I want to redo and the lantern out by the cozy corner and then the lantern on the hearth. So I've got three lantern toppers that I'm probably going to be doing, or at least funky bow. And I don't know whether I'll be adding 
you know, flowers into all of them or what I'll be doing with them quite yet. I've got an order in at the uh, uh, Pitberry Barn for a couple of, of garlands of teal uh, colored pit berries and I'm waiting on them to come in too. So anyway, so that's what I got from Michael's. That's it. And then my next stop that day was to uh, at home. And I didn't pick up much from there either, but I did find these butterflies, which I thought were really kind of pretty. They're kind of like the, the, you know, I put these here in this, remember these? I put them here in this uh, centerpiece here on the table. So I must have gotten those from, I don't, know, I don't remember getting them from at home, but I must have. So I thought these would be pretty. And, you know, I, I'd spoken about the, the fabric, uh, flowers. Well, this is one that I had in the vase that sits in my living room. And I thought, you know, maybe I'll pull, I have another one. So maybe I'll pull those two out and do maybe that lantern out there with this and then add the other blue one to the sign or something that I have for on the ladder for that cozy corner, you know, kind of that corner over there. Maybe I'll pull in more blues. I don't know. We'll see. That's kind of what where I'm going right now. And then the other, the other thing I picked, oh no, I picked up uh, two more things, three more things. This, which I thought was really pretty and just kind of called out to me. I, I don't have a clue if I'm going to add it to this decor or to another, but I thought it was really super pretty and nice to put like a, just a pop of red in, you know, and I'll, I won't use it like this. I'm sure it has a really long stem on it. I'm sure I will cut this apart and use it here and there and everywhere, you know. So I thought that was really pretty. And that was $9.99 and the butterflies were, oh, sorry, $2.99, $2.99. So then I came across, they have all like their garden stuff out, you know, and summertime stuff out. And I came across these two just little lanterns. And I thought they were just super cute. And again, I have no idea where I'll put them, but I thought they were really pretty. And they're kind of a, it's a different feel, probably weather resistant. I think these are meant to sit outside, although they do take three AAA batteries and they were each $6. And they really don't really have a lot of sales there. So I won't put like probably bow toppers on these. These will be set, you know, maybe on the hearth or around just as accent lanterns. Maybe one up here on the hutch. I'm not sure where. So, but that's it. That's all I got from at home. But I thought they were super cute. I really did. And these, the, the um, I can't even, you know what? I'm not even sure they open up, you guys. They don't, they don't even open up. Maybe I can get into it from the bottom, maybe. I don't know. No. Well, there you go. I won't be putting anything inside those. <laughs> I thought they were cute, so. Uh, but that was that. Today we went out to lunch and then we stopped. We dropped the van off to get inspected. Here in Virginia, you need to have it your car inspected yearly. They check the tires and whether your you know whether your windshield wipers are working, how your tires are, whether how worn they are, and your lights and blinkers and brakes and I don't know. They go through. They have a whole checklist that they go through. So we have a little place that we drop it off. So Chris followed me over there. So we went there and then I hopped in his car and we went to lunch. And then our, the car still, the van still one done and still one done. They hadn't called yet. So we're like, okay, where can we go? So we stopped at Lowe's and they didn't have anything in there. Chris was looking for plants and stuff and they didn't have anything in there. And I said, well, hey, I've got a coupon for uh, DSW. Let's run over there. So that's what we did. We ran over there to DSW. I don't know whether you guys have... Uh, designer shoe warehouse have a DSW in your area, but it is there are shoes 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 and more shoes in the TSW And I picked up I had picked up a pair of black like this for a trip 
but I love red shoes. So I picked me up a pair of little red shoes and I had a $10 coupon. So I think these were like 50 to begin with. So they were ended up costing me 40, but they're comfy cozy shoes from Crown Vintage. So I thought they were cute and they're kind of a suede, but I love red. I think they're he's super cute. So I got me some shoes and then we ran over to this plow and hearth on our way. It was kind of on our way back. We're like, we're going to, we're going to stop there at the plow and hearth because that's on our way back to the place where we get our, uh, car inspected. So we walked in there and oh my goodness, first it was like old home week. I saw a, a fella in there that used to work at the school where, uh, Kristen and Candace went to high school that I knew through the band. So I was chatting with him and I think his mom. And then we saw one of the kids' uh, soccer coaches, saw him in there. It was like old home week in Plow and Hearth <laughs> today. So that's what you get when you live in the same area. We've lived here for 30. How long we lived here, honey? Oh, he left. Chris was sitting right there. We've been married 36 years. So we've been living here 36 years. I have been. He's been here longer. So there you go. Please excuse, I'm, as you can tell, I am still full of cold, and um, I'm so sorry if that is is bothering you guys. <laughs> I certainly don't mean it to be, but anyway, so let me finish up. Let me show you what we got from Plow and Hearth. So, uh, the first thing was they had this hanging in the window, and this is a really cute Gerber Daisy flag. This is a regular size flag, uh, 30, 29 by 43 inches, 29 wide by 43 long. So I thought that was cute. Now I'm going to be hanging that up, I think, next. There's Gerber daisies in pink and yellow, and I love that. I think it's so pretty. So I got that. I'm not going to take it out of the bag because I don't want it to get... Oh, y'all probably want to see it, don't you? <laughs> I'll take it out of the bag. I would want to see it if I were you. Oh, it's so vibrant and pretty. Wow. Isn't that pretty? With the pink gingham. I love that. And it's got green gingham on the bottom. Welcome to the garden. It's pretty. So that, we got that. They had tons and tons and tons of flags in there. I was like, my goodness. Oh, we must have just, they must have just gotten a shipment when we walked in there because I don't, it, this place was stocked full of stuff. I couldn't believe it. So there was that. And then, look, I folded it up. It'll probably fit back in the bag. Show me. I came across uh, this little bird which I thought was really super cute. Just a little glass bird with kind of old rub bronze feet or wrought iron feet. I thought it was cute. The flag was, I didn't tell you how much did I? Uh, let's see, $12.99. And this little birdie was $6.99. I thought he was cute. And then I thought, I came across this little lantern and I thought, oh, this is super cute. Like I need another lantern because I knew I had just bought these two green ones from uh, at home. And I thought, oh, well, you know, I think I might even have a place to put this. And I think I'm going to pair it with my funky bow that I made and the plaque that's going to sit up on the, up on the uh, shelf above the ivy table, this plaque here. And this funky bow here. And I think I will pair this. <laughs> Hello, little lantern with this. Huh? Will that not look, I'm going to set it next to it. Will that not look super cute? I was like, how lucky am I getting, you know, with this little, at least this little corner. The other, the rest of the house, I'm like, what am I going to do with everything? And, you know, every time I turn around, I'm finding something that's going to go along with that. 
with that decor that I'm going to put up there. And I bought that little birdhouse I think I'm going to put on the other end. So I have a little votive candle, you know, that I can set up in there. But how cute is that? And this was... $9.99, regularly $20, I mean, how much more perfect could it get? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then, let's see, I have two more things from Plow and Hearth. <laughs> and I was super happy to find this. I'm going to show you this first. I was super happy to find this. This y'all remember the, uh, for crying out loud, copper pole, for lack of a better way of putting it. Let me put a picture here of it, how I have it looking right now. Well, you can see that that little sign hanging on it uh, is kind of a felt sign, you know. And I got that from Williamsburg. And I did not realize that Plow and Hearth also sells them. Let me open it up here and show it to you. Check it out. It has a little handle on it that goes on the hook on that thing. And then that's, that's just a tag. I'll cut off. But check it out, it's really cute. It's an old truck sitting at a red barn and obviously I'll use it around, you know, patriotic time, summertime. I'm not gonna put this out there yet. I'm gonna leave that, what I have hanging on there right now, out there. But look at the daisies for summertime. It is so pretty, I just love this. I just love it. This could be, you know, other than for the flowers, but with the flag, I love it for all year, but obviously the flowers are more spring, summer, you know. But this is, it's very well made. It's kind of thick, you know, it's got a blue background. But of course that will hang right there on that little thing in the summertime. This is something that, this is not something I'm gonna use right now. But I love this, I thought it was super cute. And then Chris came upon one more thing. Gonna sit here next to me. I and let it. me turn. If y'all will remember, Last summer, I guess, or spring summer, we went down to that plow and hearth that I just you know, referenced earlier in Madison, Virginia. And that is a big outlet store. And we found that really big, beautiful spinner that we have in the front yard, in the front flower bed. Well, when we were in this little plow and hearth, check it out, we found its little sister or brother. Check it out, there it is. So this is a beautiful spinner and it, you know, some people might think it looks like fall. Well, I don't think of it that way. I think of it as leaves and we have tons and tons of leaves here. Obviously we live in the woods. So I'm not sure where we'll put this, whether we'll pair it with that other one or whether we will put it somewhere totally different. I don't know, but I thought it would look really cute if it was sitting, I kind of told Chris if it was sitting kind of cattywamp in front of it, you know, kind of in a tiered way. You know, leaves not only spin but it also uh, I think it spins yeah it does it spins like this too see so it can get spinning like that and the leaves get spinning it is so super cool to watch so hopefully he will do that I don't know he might have a different idea <laughs> what he wants to do. excuse my hair tomorrow is the day I get my hair done thank goodness so that was the purchase of the day. It was $70, I think, for that. So it's, you know, no, I'm, I'm fibbing, I'm fibbing. That was $39.99, $40 for that. I believe the big one, the one that's out in the fire, uh, flower bed now was 60 or 70, something like that. So, so that is what I've been doing since I got sick, is just shopping here and there and poking my head in stores and picking up this and that when I see it. I haven't spent a copious amount of money other than this was, you know, $40, but I mean, that's worth it for that to have its partner in crime. You know, I love that. I love having two the same like that. I think it'll look super cute out there. But again, I need to start getting, 
started with this decor because the sooner I get started, the sooner I'll stop trying to figure out what I'm going to do and just do it. So, you know, I always work better when I, uh, I'm, I'm creating this decor as I'm going here. So this is going to be interesting what I come up with. We'll see. <laughs> so, but unfortunately you guys, I, I, I apologize. Uh, sorry. I apologize profusely. It's probably not going to be this week. If I come back with anything, it'll be with some Easter deconstruction, probably toward the end of the week. Uh, if that, you guys, I'm not making any promises. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I, I know I'm feeling better today. I just haven't taken any medicine. So uh, hopefully tomorrow will be even better. And then the next day will be even better than that. I wanted to say I have uh, all the questions kind of for my Q&As have kind of uh, dissipated and maybe that's just because we don't have any more questions and that is just perfectly fine with me but I did want to mention that if you guys want to leave me some questions that I, you know I'm always available to do a Q&A Monday and I usually record them on Fridays so Fridays or Saturdays so if you guys have any questions for me you know, go ahead and leave them in the comments for me and then I can, you know, put up a q and I also have a few sweet things to share from my P.O. Box and I usually go there on Friday too. So I could do a combination uh, P.O. Box shout out and uh, uh, Q&A Monday. So let me know if you have any questions for me. So let and me just say I hope that all is well with everybody and that life is treating you kindly and that nobody's struggling with this dumb cold and that you're not struggling with anything chronic or worse than this and if you are please know that i keep you in my thoughts and prayers all the time and i hope there's nothing nagging at you and pulling at you and pulling your attention away from where it should be or where you want it to be anyway i did want to come back one more time and uh show you what I've been purchasing. And trust me, my mind is going like a mile a minute here. I just don't have the, the physical strength to do anything about it now. It's driving me crazy, to be honest. It's driving me a little, little nuts. Nothing keeps me down. And this is kicking my tail. So, I think I better listen to it, huh? So, with that, <laughs> I will just say, it's not dampening my spirit though. I'm still going to be positive and look at this as a gift and say, okay, maybe this is my gift to tell me to sit down and, and relax a little bit. So that's what I need to do. See, I'm even flushed. Look, Ugh. Ugh. anyway. All right, you guys, <laughs> I will let you go. And And I hope everyone has a great evening or day or whatever time of day this is coming to you. I hope you have a good one. Uh, I love y'all to pieces. So I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Well, I wasn't quite done yet. I uh, just wanted to come out here and show you where Chris ended up putting that other spinner. As you can see, I'm still decorated for Easter here. I have not felt like getting everything down, and I think it's going to be a few days yet. I'm not going to stress over this. Y'all help me. i got to not stress over this and not be anal retentive about this. But, you know, my mind, Easter's over, so I've got to change my decor. But I'll get to it. But anyway, here is where, as Chris said, that one's mini me <laughs> it's right there it looks newer and brighter of course but uh, i think that it will become the same color as that if it doesn't it's okay isn't that pretty i just think that looks so pretty we have these big fat wide flower beds that can handle all this stuff i love it i just love it so that is where that little beauty ended up right there So now I will close this one out. <laughs> Walk up here to the front porch. When I came out the front door, I heard scurrying over here. I think it must have been a deer or a couple of them over there. 
but there's the pole I was talking about. I showed you the picture, but there's the pole. And everything's still decorated for Easter, so I'll be getting after it here sooner or later. Hopefully sooner than later. <laughs> but anyway, it's starting to rain on my head here, so I'm going to get myself back in the house. I have got my slippers on, and I've got my night pants on, and I am getting fixing to go in here and relax for the rest of the evening. So, with that, I'll just say... Until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.